today, I think I turned on NY1, and there was a little piece about uh, the, you know, the command center here in the city, which where you know, the top police officials are watching video of everybody in the city, and they're exporting the system to other cities, you know, for crime prevention, quote unquote. But this movie is sort of well positioned or well timed because there's such a A lot of thoughts going into the music because uh, my actually background is music. Uh, I used to play keyboards. That's how I transitioned from music into film because the film has both music and story and visual. Um, but if I can, I just like to prelude, prelude what I'm going to say about music just with this one uh, story which happened to me about two weeks ago. Um, I got a phone call from a woman that actually I hadn't talked to in quite, quite uh, some time. And she went on to tell me almost very tearfully. Uh, how happy she was and how much uh, I had did uh, for her son and basically that I saved his life. Uh, her son actually happens to be one of my best friends, actually the composer. Jeff, are you around? Jeff Jordan. Yay! Um, the composer. Uh, we hired him to score the film. Uh, soon after we hired him, he actually had a heart attack and uh, was going through some really difficult medical uh, procedures. And um, as a producer, you, you have to, you're on a budget, you have time constraints, uh, especially s small budget films. And the question, which he doesn't know, uh, that was put to me was, should we go out and find another composer? Uh, he's a good friend of mine, and I had a belief that he could pull it through and I just pushed it to him, like I said, are you sure you can do this? And I said, I'm confident you can do it. As long as you know, you're confident, then you can do it. And uh, lo and behold, he did. And his mother uh, went on to relate to me, which I never do. She uh, just thanked me because she said, through me pushing him, that really gave him hope for something. Uh, and for him to beat uh, this heart attack he had at such a young age. Uh, and he's living proof of that in his score. He's living emotion and heart and soul that he put into this. So, Jeff, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so, the score itself, uh, we, we listen to a lot of different other music. Uh, Trent Reznor, we actually went back and we listened to uh, Hitchcock music. We actually, uh, I don't know if some of you uh, picked up on this, the conversationist. It's a movie with Gene Hackman, and we actually was listening to a radio. Uh, we went back and we listened to uh, music from there as well. And we try to have the music so it's not too overwhelming. It's somewhat under the radar, but it, it moves the film along. And uh, that was the whole score. We worked uh, strategically on many Skype calls with Jeff uh, to actually get to it. Uh, York Gill, the director, um, I won't say he's anal, but I will say he's very particular. He's a perfectionist, and maybe that's why we get along so well together, because those people who know me well, I'm also a perfectionist as well. And um, that's how we develop, develop the score. Uh, basically going back in the past, listen to other music that really worked well with film, and trying to select music and selections of music that would basically move the story along and not overwhelm the story. And, uh, I think we 